In this video, let us see about the two quadrant chopper fed DC drive. There are different types of chopper fed drives. So, we know there are four quadrants and the chopper can be made to operate in one quadrant or two quadrants or in all the four quadrants. So, type A chopper operates in first quadrant and type B chopper operates in second quadrant. There are two quadrant converters which can operate in two quadrants that is type C chopper can operate in first and second quadrant and type D chopper can operate in first and fourth quadrant and there is a type E chopper which can operate in all the four quadrants. In this video we will see about two quadrant chopper that is type C and type D chopper. If you see the two quadrant chopper, so the type C chopper operates in first and second quadrant. So first quadrant you will get for forward motoring operation and in second quadrant you will get forward braking operation. So if you see the type D chopper, it can operate in first quadrant as well as fourth quadrant. Let us see about the first quadrant operation of type C chopper. We know in first quadrant both voltage as well as current are positive. So this is the circuit diagram and in first quadrant we know we can achieve forward motoring mode. The circuit consists of two devices that is two switches with anti-parallel diodes. Okay. You remember a inverter, a single leg of an inverter is used. So, two switches with anti-parallel diodes are there. In between, you have to connect the DC motor. This R, L and E represents the DC motor. And this point is said to be positive. And uh, current entering the load is assumed to be positive. So, here to achieve first quadrant operation, the first switch is operated plus this freewheeling diode will be used. So, when this switch is on, first switch is on, this will be the current path. So, the current flows to the switch through the motor and it returns. So, in this case the voltage is equal to here the output voltage is this point is connected to plus Vs. So, V0 is equal to Vs and you see the direction of current it is positive that is current flows from top to bottom is assumed to be positive. So, it is set positive. Now, when the switch is off what happens? So, when the switch is off the current circulates through the freewheeling diode. So, in this case output voltage will be 0. So, in first quadrant operation the switch first switch plus freewheeling diode will be used. It is a simple structure like a buck converter. Next how to achieve second quadrant operation. So, in second quadrant we see V naught is positive plus I naught should be negative. So, the current has to flow in the opposite direction. So, to make the current flow in opposite direction what you have to do? You have to switch on CH2. So, when you switch on this second, when you switch on the second switch the current flows through the switch and the load or it circulates in this path. So, output voltage is 0. So, the current direction is also negative because it is flowing out of the motor or opposite to this the assumed current direction. So, I naught is negative. If you see the diagram, uh, we have seen that when the switch 1 is on, we are getting the output voltage and when this switch is off, it is 0. 
So, this is the output voltage waveform. This T on and T off corresponds to the status of CH1, the switch 1. Okay. So, that is the first quadrant operation you are getting here. When CH is, uh, when the switch 1 is on, current increases and when, the when it free wheels, current decreases. But in both the cases, it is positive. Again, when the CH2 is on, the current is flowing in the reverse direction. The output voltage is 0 at that time. Next, you have to, when you switch off CH2, what will happen? When you switch off this switch, the current initially it is flowing in this direction. So, what it will do? It will try to flow through the diode D2. So, the current starts to flow through diode D2 and return to the supply. So, the energy stored in the DC motor is fed back to the supply. So, this is the regenerative mode. So, for that E should be greater than the supply voltage. So, in this case V naught so, Vs is connected here. So, V naught equal to Vs and I naught is negative. So, you can see here during the D2 conduction period, V naught is equal to Vs. So, if you summarize everything, if you take a type C chopper to get first quadrant operation, you operate switch 1 and freewheeling diode will be used and for second quadrant operation this switch is operated that is it is turned on and off and D2 is used. So, type C chopper is used for both forward motoring and regenerative braking of DC motors. So, this is a closed loop control of a two quadrant chopper fed DC drive. So, already we have seen the power circuit of a two quadrant chopper. So, what is that? It consists of two switches in with anti-parallel diodes. So, here also this is one switch with anti-parallel diode, another switch with another anti-parallel diode. So, at the center point you have to connect the DC motor. So, this is the circuit we have already seen. Now, you want to control the speed of this DC motor. Basically, you have to remember one thing. In drives, there will be two types of control. One is speed control. Another one is current control. So, the speed control is usually the outer loop and current control will be the inner loop. Because current is a fast changing quantity compared to the speed. So, speed will be outside, current will be, current control will be inside. So, you measure the speed using some speed sensor. Give the speed reference to the PA controller. This will calculate the error and it will produce a signal which can be used as a reference for the next controller. So, this will generate the current reference and you are measuring the current from here. So, some current sensor can be used to measure the current again giving it to a PA controller which will calculate the error and correspondingly generate the gate pulses. So, pulses one pulse will be produced and given to the switch one other pulse they will invert and give it to other switch. What does it mean? At any time, only one switch will be on. If IGBT1 is on, the other should be off. So, we normally invert the other signal and give. So, if this is off, this will be on. Mostly, all drives will have same control technique. Two loops will be there. Outer speed loop and inner current loop. Next we will see 
type D chopper. So this chopper operates in first and fourth quadrant. It means that the voltage can be positive or negative but current is always positive. So if, uh, you can perform both forward motoring as well as reverse braking and this is the circuit diagram. So if you see the circuit diagram it is actually very simple. Earlier for type C you had two switches with anti-parallel diode. Here you separate all the devices that will be the circuit. So CH1 is here, CH2 is here. Here you have diode, here also you have diode. In between you have to connect the load. So diagonally you have two switches and this diagonal you have two diodes. So from the diagram itself you can say if you want first quadrant operation CH1 and CH2 should operate. So to get first quadrant operation we are operating CH1 and CH2. So current flows in this direction we can see that V0 is positive V0 equal to so this plus is connected here. So V0 equal to Vs and I0 is also positive if this is the assumed di current direction. So when you switch off this uh, upper switch CH1 what happens already the current is flowing through CH2 in this direction. So again the current will flow in this same direction. So the current starts to flow through D1. So in this case output voltage is 0 but current direction through the load if you see it is same. So I0 is positive in both the cases whereas V0 is Vs in case of when both the switches are on and when CH1 is off current um, free wheels like this so output voltage is 0. So you get first quadrant operation by operating in this way. Now let us see the fourth quadrant operation of type D chopper. So fourth quadrant means V0 should be negative and I0 should be positive. So when here you have to remember this is a DC motor so it has a back EMF. So now when both the switches CH1 and CH2 are off the current flows through the diode D1 and D2. So actually you see the diode direction so current can flow like this. So both D1 and D2 are on and the current is flowing in this direction. So current is positive here whereas the voltage is negative because this point is connected to negative of supply. So it is minus Vs. Now if this switch, so we have seen that when D1 and D2 are on, V0 equal to minus Vs. When you switch on this uh, CH1, what happens? The current through this diode actually start flowing through the switch. So it free wheels like this so that the output voltage becomes 0. Because free wheeling period output voltage will be 0 and I0 is again positive. It flows in the same direction so it is positive. So V0 average voltage will be negative. So we have seen about two choppers type C which can operate in first and second quadrant that is forward motoring and regenerative braking and type D chopper which can operate in first and fourth quadrant and you can do forward motoring and reverse braking of DC motor. If you like the material please do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel and these are the references which I have used. Thank you.